Hi and welcome to part four of the seven part series of stories from the summit. Today I'm going to talk about how we overcame confrontational conversations. So here's the scenario. We're on the mountain. This is Elbrus, the tallest mountain in Europe. And we're five climbers. And here's a hypothetical situation. Suddenly, someone gets really tired. They get altitude sickness. Something's not right. They need to go down. Do they go down alone? If they want someone to go down with them, who goes down with them? Do we send one of the guides down and then leave just one with us, risking it for the rest of the group? Tough questions to answer, right? Not the ones we want to have at four and a half, five thousand meters above sea level. And that's the exact reason why, as the team leader, I said these are the conversations we're going to have before we start our summit. In our particular case, we decided on whoever wanted a pair, they would pair up, and then doesn't matter which one from the pair would have a challenge, the other one has to go down with them should the need arise. So I ask you, what can you do today, tomorrow, this week, with your team, your family, with your loved ones, which can prevent having a very difficult scenario in the future by discussing it and deciding on it now.